Why is the sky blue? To understand this, we first need to draw a distinction between red wavelengths and blue wavelengths. And here's an analogy that works for me. If you're a slalom skier and you're going to win the race, your object is to not only get down the mountain as quickly as you can, but also make sure that you don't miss weaving in and out of any flags. And when you do that, you are going to bump into some of those flags. You might have seen this on TV. The flags are knocked over as the skiers go past. Now, if I'm going down the mountain, there might be flags there, but if I miss a flag or two or 15, it's no big deal because my purpose is simply to get down the mountain without breaking a femur or killing myself. So I'm going to go back and forth with a much lower frequency than a slalom skier would. And chances are I won't hit any of those flags like a slalom skier will when he or she is zigzagging back and forth with a high frequency. Blue light is kind of like that. It has short wavelengths and high frequencies and it tends to interact with particles or bump into particles or be scattered by particles in the atmosphere much more easily than red light is. And so for that reason the sky is blue because blue wavelengths are scattered most easily by the molecules of not so dense gas in our atmosphere. In the daytime sky, anywhere we look, blue wavelengths of light that were scattered by gas molecules in that direction there are entering our eyes from that direction there, which is why the sky looks blue. So why are sunsets reddish orange? Well, the sun at midday is roughly overhead and shines light of all wavelengths down on us. Well, we just talked about how the blue wavelengths are scattered very easily by the gas particles in the atmosphere, which means that the wavelengths that still get through primarily are, let's say, the greens and the reds. Well, greens and reds give us yellow. So the sun looks kind of yellowish at midday. Now, when the sun is about to set, relative to us, it's now on the horizon. And it shines light of all wavelengths towards us. But now you can see that that sunlight has a lot more atmosphere to travel through than the sunlight did at midday. So the blue wavelengths are scattered out pretty much right away. But because there's so much more atmosphere to travel through, chances are that the next longer wavelengths will also eventually be scattered, like the greens. And what that means is the only wavelengths that really make it through to our eyes are the very long wavelengths, the reds and the oranges. And that's why the sun looks a reddish orange color at sunset and incidentally also at sunrise.